Hello and welcome to my video presentation on the, uh, the isSet function. Uh, a basic use of how to uh, do some data validation in your PHP. So what I have here is I've got an index.php file. I set up a project called isSet. Here's my index.php file. Um, it's really just a, uh, could just be an HTML file if I didn't have this little code right here. Uh, so here's my form. My form starts off, um, don't really care what the name is right now, it's email form, but it's it's doing something different than that. The action is going to be that it's going to call my subscribe PHP file, and I'm going to use the post method. I've got three text inputs, quantity, first name, last name. Uh, I set up first name and last name to be required. Uh, here I've got my crust. Um, this is just a radio button for what kind of crust somebody wants. And then I've got uh, toppings, and I've got my three checkboxes. Topic one, topic two, topic three uh, for pepperoni, mushrooms, and olives. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that over to my subscribe PHP, where I'm going to go to the, the post array. I'm going to try to put that into uh, local variables. So this is going to cause us some issues. So when we try to run this, and let's not put anything into anything, and you know now we've got a, a user that. Um, is not utilizing our, our page properly. So we click Submit, um, and they get forced by the required attributes uh, to put in uh, their name, but really nothing else. So then I get uh, to this page, and I get uh, undefined indexes for Topic 1, Topic 2, and Topic 3 because I haven't supplied any values for that. So um, we're going to close out that, and then we're going to come back. And what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if these, uh, if the values in the post array have been set. Uh, so what we're going to do is do a little if, and then inside our if, we test using the set, the set function, and we're going to pass into that our post array variable. Oops. Right. So if it is set, then we're going to open up our curly braces and we're going to take that value and we're going to put it into our local variable. Right. And then we can do that for each of these, right? So we've got an if set. One of these days I'm going to learn how to type, I swear. And we will check our host array. Put that in there. And we'll do this for each of our variables. Ooh, I actually cut that, didn't I? Didn't want to do that. This will just take a second. lost in between my cutting and my pasting. So if, well, is set last name. And again, uh, do we really need to do this for uh, last name and first name since we made a required? No, um, but it's not bad practice. Uh, and again, the um, the crust, probably don't have to check that either, uh, necessarily, because more than likely, uh, as a radio button, something will be selected, and we've t kind of taken care of that in the setup. But, no big deal. Just take a second to pop all these together. The most important ones are going to be Uh, the checkboxes. Checkboxes are going to give you the biggest problem because if you don't set them, uh, if somebody doesn't check them off, they are not going to be in the post array. And this is where most of the time you're going to get your invalid um, indexes or undefined indexes because these simply uh, will not exist. Curly 
prices. Take that. And again, if. Set. I don't want the whole thing. I think I have to practice this. <laughs> okay. And just like that, uh, we've gone through, I can really throw a couple of spaces in here, really be consistent with my coding. So there, just like that, I'm going through and I'm checking to make sure that there is something in the post array associated with the index that I'm looking for, the text index that I'm looking for. And here, if I do a save all, and I go back to Firefox, and again, I try to submit, and my required fields are gonna force me to put data in, which is good. Um, my radio buttons are, already have a set, so it's basically a, a default already there. And now here, if I don't put anything into toppings, I don't get any error messages. Um, and that's basically uh, what I wanted to do there. So th this is the method to go through uh, using the isSet function uh, to test your um, post array uh, elements to see if they have been set or not. And now that I've done that, and now that you've seen how to do that, I would love to see you use that in your coding.